Hello again and welcome back to another journey through the CCP media gaslighting which they pretend is hard-hitting fact-based journalism. They claim to support American democracy, but they're the biggest threat to it because their idea of democracy is one-party rule forever propped up by Democrat Party state media propaganda. But first, a quick message about why now is the time to prepare. These days, the future is still more uncertain than ever. That's why people who know what's coming are using today to prepare. You can't wait until the last moment. By then, it's too late. The most important thing you need is long-term storage emergency food. It stays fresh for up to 25 years and will be there when you need it. I strongly recommend My Patriot Supply, America's leader in self-reliance. They're the only source my family uses for emergency food planning. And right now, you can save $50 off a four-week supply of delicious meals that provide 2,000 plus calories a day. Calories give you the energy you need to survive. And saving $50 is impossible to pass up, but supplies are limited. So go to www.preparewithdronetech.com right now and stock up. That's preparewithdronetech.com. There's no time to lose. Do it now. San Jose, California has passed a new gun law that's the first of its kind in the nation. Now, get this. The law requires gun owners to have liability insurance, pay an annual fee to help curb the cost of gun violence. The bill was proposed in the wake of the shooting at the Santa Clara County Valley Transportation Authority that left nine people dead back in May. Just look at this guy's eye bags. No amount of makeup can cover that up. It almost looks like all that lying is taking a toll on his mind and his ability to sleep at night. So his big pitch for this communist policy is that it'll punish good lawful gun owners because one time there was a shooting that left nine people dead. It was a horrible event, don't get me wrong, but I don't see what it has to do with lawful gun owners. I also don't see why that's the shooting this hack wants to focus on when California is having a huge surge in gang violence, which is why the vast majority of these shootings occur. And this goes for San Jose as well. So what logical process is at work here that leads you to believe the solution to gang violence is to punish lawful gun owners, leaving only the gang members armed and the good people defenseless, leading to these good people depending on police forces that have been defunded and won't arrive in time. Oh right, I remember now, it's the gun owners in America that are the real threat. And there's 300 million guns in America uh, that we have spread across the country and that really concerns me. So yeah, you see where this is going. A communist propagandist who is smitten with the idea that they might finally disarm all those pesky supporters of the Constitution. Joining us now to analyze this is CNN Early Start anchor Laura Jarrett. Laura, this is a really interesting, innovative policy suggestion by the San Jose mayor. How would it work? So super interesting, novel, first of its kind, as you said, and of course, as you might imagine, very controversial yes. already, right? <laughs> Right, because this is exactly how a Just the Facts reporter approaches a clearly political extreme policy. He sounds way more like a late night infomercial host who's about to sell some juicers. The best way to think about this, I think, as you and I were discussing in the break, is think about car insurance. Anyone can wrap their heads around that, right? The idea is if you own a car, you have to have insurance, you pull the risk. Hopefully, you don't have as many accidents that way, and the same might be true here. It's like a vacuum. Yeah. It's actually vacuuming up all that smoke, recycling the air, yeah. cleaning it, and then sending it back out. That's fantastic. She, she's so excited. She's selling this like she's getting commission. Cars are not a constitutional right, for one. Second, murder is already illegal, and the vast, vast majority of gun owners have no plans to commit any murder. So why would they need murder insurance? I guess their point might be, what if somebody gets your gun? Well, guess what? We already have laws in place to deal with that. Why would we collectively punish all gun owners because of the actions of an individual? But if it goes through, it's not only about the devastation to the families, obviously, you know, loved ones are lost, people feel that. It's also super expensive for cities that are really impacted by this, right? Six years from 2013 to 2019, one estimate shows there's over 200 incidents of gun violence in San Jose. Guess how much that costs taxpayers, John? An estimated 440 
$2. So this would be a huge saving. Million. Yeah. Sounds like you could use some big ass savings. I'd love some big ass savings. You see what I mean? This is a straight up infomercial for tyrannical anti-constitution Democrat policies. Who's responsible for the vast majority of those shootings, lady? Why are you being so generalized? Clearly because those shootings are done by gang members. Gang violence is a separate issue. And it seems to me that punishing lawful gun owners, it's only going to make that problem even worse. I swear, these people either lack the ability of foresight or they just purposely want to screw everything up. Another example, defunding the police, which will clearly lead to the loss of more black lives. Yet for some baffling reason, it's promoted by the people who claim to care about black lives. <laughs> San Jose mayor isn't naive about the fact this is going to get legal challenges from day one, but it's interesting. He confronted that head on. I want to read folks what he said. He said, look, skeptics will say that criminals won't comply. They're right. Yet that's an important feature of these proposals, not a defect. These ordinances create a legal mandate that provides police with a lawful means for seizing guns from non law abiding dangerous people. So he's saying basically bring it on. Does this guy seriously believe he's an objective arbiter? First, he declares that this extremist mayor is taking on those mean, nasty critics head on. Then he proceeds to read this pathetic excuse for a response saying that punishing law abiding gun owners will, quote, create a legal mandate for police to seize guns from non law abiding, dangerous people. I think that's just a bunch of political spin to cover up the fact that they're going to come after people's guns who haven't committed any crimes. The ambiguousness of, quote, non law abiding and, quote, dangerous people clearly means that they're going to violate people's rights who they deem to be dangerous, which could be anyone because in this day and age, they claim silence is violence. I also wanted to mention that you might remember this mayor. He's the guy who essentially told Trump supporters that they deserved whatever they got if they came to San Jose and then ordered his police officers to funnel those Trump supporters into violent mobs of Mexican flag waving Democrats. Also get a load of that headline. How utterly misleading is that? So He's saying basically bring it on. So there you go. Just more proof that they do indeed want to take your guns and see you as the enemy for exercising your inalienable self-defense rights. That's all for this one. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.